My name is Blake Thurgood. I've been in Guatemala now for about 13 years and I was literally on a trip around the world. So the reason why I'm here right now, to be honest, I fell in love with the people, I fell in love with the place, the amount of adventures in Guatemala, the special things that you can do here. And actually in 2011, I originally came in 2009, but in 2011, I ended up doing that trip around the world. And every place I went, I just kept thinking about how amazing Guatemala was. And I ended up coming right back. Originally, I came for a couple months, but it quickly turned into two years because of the landscape. I worked for an adventure tour company here for a couple years. And when you get into the adventure world in Guatemala, the adventures are endless. This place is so unique and it has everything from active volcanoes, there's multiple active volcanoes in this country, to beach expeditions. Rio Dulce is one of the most amazing, pristine, most beautiful places I've ever been to on this entire planet. And then after some time of being here, I ended up getting into a business program in, uh, in my old school in Austin at UT. And 10 days before I left, I went to a little wine shop underneath the arch here at Antigua and I met the girl of my dreams. And she was, everything about her was just pristine and perfect, exactly what I wanted in a woman. So I went back to the States for an entire year, dreaming about her, thinking about her, talking to her every day, and I just couldn't be without her. So as soon as I graduated, I didn't even go to my graduation ceremony. I got my certificate, I got on a plane, and I came right to Guatemala, right back to be with her. In my opinion, the biggest struggle of being an expat in Guatemala um, has to do with being so far away from your family and so far away from your old friends in the States. By far, the thing I love the most about Guatemala are the people. The people and their smiles and the reasons why they do things. I think Guatemala has this very inherent, like most of Latin America, but Guatemala gets to express it a little bit different. Their inherent love of creativity. Guatemalans are all creative in their own mindset, whether it comes to like art or whether it comes to music or whether it comes to even a business plan. The creativity and the purpose that they have for creating those things, for those, those attributes to really be extracted out of them and to be put on, you know, a paper or to be put in an economy is a beautiful sight to see and that purpose I, I just absolutely adore about Guatemala. As I've explored all of Guatemala, I mean I've been to every single corner of this entire country when I was a tour guide here for two years. I literally went everywhere. Uh, the, the sense of adventure really kind of ties a lot into what I experienced in Texas. Now, I think one of the coolest things that I've been able to do in Guatemala is when I was in this business program in the States for an entire year, uh, the girl that I met here, I brought her up to Texas and she fell in love with barbecue. That's all she wanted to eat for lunch and dinner like every day she was visiting me in Texas. And so when I came back after that business program, I felt like I should start a new company. Nine years into it now, we're in our 10th year, uh, my wife and I own the Texas barbecue restaurant in Antigua, Guatemala. Uh, now we've got three locations, we've got more than 70 employees, um, we've got a distribution now into the grocery stores, and we're always playing around and creating more Texas here in Guatemala so that I can kind of fit in a little bit. You know what I mean? The barbecue restaurant was always this idea of like a weekend, you know, have fun with the boys, you know, have fun with the families kind of business model. Um, but I've always been waiting to really dig my teeth into something. So I've been preparing myself. I went, I went to Stanford University, I went to Harvard University, um, you know, I went to, to business school in Texas and I've been preparing myself for something big, something great. And I've been holding off on a lot of amazing and potential opportunities to do stuff for the right moment to really execute on something really, really big. 
So right now I'm quitting everything that I'm doing, the restaurants, uh, which is really the only thing I was doing before, um, to really focus 100% on movie productions. Movie making, specifically movies from the US and Europe to be made here in Guatemala. What we call this is we call this servicing. And what's great about that is movies typically have a high price point, a high value point. And so when we give extra value for what we're, for what they're buying versus Hollywood, we become attractive destination. And the idea behind this movie studio is to build a two acre campus with two big sound stages so that anybody in the world can film any movie scene here in Guatemala thus creating jobs for literally thousands of people here locally. So that's my big goal. ¿Qué estamos haciendo con nuestro proyecto? Es yo estoy construyendo una, una casa donde toda la industria se puede trabajar adentro de esta casa. Necesitamos como gente quiere a controlar un cámara, un micrófono. Se puede hacer como post production, arte. Se puede construir los sets. ¿verdad? Se puede como diseñar un ambiente bonito o rústico, depende de cómo está esta película, ¿verdad? los demandes de esas películas. So necesitamos emprendedores en muchos, muchos, muchos in industrias para servir esta nueva industria de cine que estamos haciendo en Guate. I came to Antigua uh, and met uh, Blake. It was like meeting a brother from another mother. Like when people say that, I mean literally. I think um, what he's doing in, in Guatemala is incredible. Pacific, of course, Antigua, which I think has the potential to become the it place of Central America. The beauty, the, the people, the surroundings, the, the weather, the need and the want from, from, from the community to, to grow is incredible. Uh, well, what I've seen in the last little bit since I've been here has been absolutely phenomenal. I think Latin America is poised perfectly right now to young generations to allow themselves to create, uh, especially in the audiovisual world, a world that could become better and better and better and would allow future generations and existing generations to stay here and don't have the need to, to actually fly or to go to another country. Guatemala geopolitically is positioned perfect for this opportunity because of its proximity to the United States, to Hollywood, LA, to Texas, to Georgia, where a lot of these movies are actually being made right now in the States. Guatemala is by far one of the most fast moving, innovative locations with a charm of an ancient city. So you've got this UNESCO heritage site here in Antigua. You have this enormous amount of new wealth coming from innovation here with the technology sector, which you can maybe see behind me. All of these offices here are all involved in technology. And it's growing quickly. To be a part of that as it's just starting, if you're in the United States or if you're in Europe or if you're even elsewhere in Central America, I highly recommend you to come to Antigua to come see if this could be a good place to live. The food's amazing, the lifestyle's great, the customer service everywhere you go is fantastic. And just because it's at the very beginning, very beginning of its growth explosion, uh, right now is a great time to come.